Hey guys, it's Bad Gamer here. So we're back with another Sims video. We've got a little bit of a difference in, so we've got a little bit of music in the background too. Let me know down in the comments if you like, dislike. Let me know if there's anything else that you want me to add, take out. So yeah, let's get started then, shall we? So here we are, back in Sandy's apartment. Oops. Um, so everything's still lined up from the last episode, so I'm just gonna hit fast forward and she can fill up everything she needs to fill up. So I've already, so she's gonna go and do that now. She needs to bring up her fun value. So, oh, who's this? Our neighbor, she wants to come and socialize or do whatever your heart desires. Okay, so let's talk to her, agree to hang out. Uh, it's Penny Pizzazz. So, let her just finish cleaning, I think. Okay, so hi, Penny, what do you want to do? So Penny has come over to hang out. There is a book on the floor. What shall we do? So let's just chat for a minute. We could play a video game. Let's play a multiplayer game. Penny. So that should yep do her fun while we're hanging out with Penny. So, we still need to raise her mixology skill. So, oh, Penny still wants to hang out. Okay, that's fine. It's 7 50 pm, and this is about a festival. Is there a festival coming in? What's out here? So, we have here which we can go and order I think we might go and do that because that will give us some more um, recipes for her to look at and if she goes for spicy stuff she'll gain the spice hound trait and if she uses top chopsticks she'll learn how to use chopsticks and not be embarrassed I wanted to read about festival oh I'm not allowed to see that okay <laughs> So, let's read the note that's on there then. Okay. I know you can make it through the day. Well, that's a nice note. Can you leave a note? Let's leave an affirming note. Okay. So, let's go while Penny is playing with our stuff. Let's go... What kind of festival is this? Because... This is flashing as well. Hmm. I wonder. Let's go and order some food anyways. Right, so I think let's get some sweet and sour pork. She wasn't supposed to go anywhere. No, she wasn't. She'll need to go to sleep soon. Oh, there's some uh, famous here. Ah. <laughs> so let's ask for an autograph, shall we? Let's see if we can get she an autograph. In boy, she uh -huh. Oh, no, uh, she, she doesn't want to give us an autograph. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. So I won't try anything else then because she clearly doesn't want to be bothered. She just wants to enjoy whatever that is she's eating. <laughs> Wonder why she's dressed like a tourist though. That that is rather interesting. So 
Our sim is rather active, and there is a gym around here as well, I'm aware of. However, she does need to go to sleep because she has got work tomorrow, I believe. Yeah, she's got work in 18 hours, so. Oh, Penny's still here. So let's have a quick chat with Penny. Uh, okay, I haven't got many options there, have I? Whisper about celebrity. Okay, so these are all the celebrities at the minute. <laughs> kids called Orange. Why is her name Baby Ariel? What kind of name is Baby? That's very interesting. So we're gonna go and sleep. She's embarrassed about her chopsticks, which has now gone. She has an unexpected affirming from affirming oh, uh, affirmation from a firm in note and she won the party game so she's quite playful about that oh she's managed to successfully eat with chopsticks I don't understand how she managed that so she's unlocked one of the 27 because there's 26 more so we'll just fast well it automatically fast forwards for us So tomorrow, so she goes to work at 3 p.m. So we'll, when she wakes up, she will probably need the loo. We'll, we'll have a shower, and she'll need something to eat. So let's grab something out of here instead of making something. So our fun is still rather low. So, she is a dance machine, so I'm thinking maybe if we get a wall stereo, she can have a little bit of a jam out, and that should increase her fun. Uh, electronics. So we'll just get this cheap cafe speaker. So it looks like it's going to be a hot day today, yep, the forecast is sunny. So we've got, we have got the option of that. So should we have a look at university? So Brickchester, so we could go and do the culinary arts degree, that would definitely work towards like what our current uh, career path is so Brit is it Brit Britchester Brightchester I don't know if I'm going off like other places in the UK Brightchester sounds about right but other uh, counties and whatnot don't sound like they're meant to sound like like Derby. It's spelt with an E. Why is it spelt with an E when it's pronounced Derby, which is an A? Who, who knows? Let's have a look at the other one. So the Foxbury Institute. So they do the culinary arts here. However, it's not distinguished. So let's try and get a distinguished degree. I think it will apply to go. Um, however, we don't have a computer. So we're going to need to find somewhere with a computer because, let's face it, oh, we can't fit a computer in here, there's like no space. So I think a library would be the best place to look at. So let's fast forward here. So she's happy, she had a delicious dish. I'm glad her food that she made herself is delicious. Let's clean that up and let's travel. Just 
travel on her own for the minute. So, we need a library or somewhere like that, just so we can get a computer. So, that's a bar, a lounge, I doubt a lounge would have a library. Gym, I doubt a museum would have one either. So, I think we're gonna go, have to go out of world for this. So, off the top of my head, I believe Windenburg does have a library, so let's have a look. Um, aha! There we go, Quad Manor. Let's go Quad Manor. Right. So, she's wearing her summer outfit. Does look quite good on her. Right, let's go on a hunt for a free computer. So it doesn't look that busy. So yes, there's one here. So university. Let's try for some scholarships, I think. So let's have a look at the info packet. And maybe email form of guidance counselor for advice. Okay, she's just casually working out in the middle of the library, because as you do. Okay, so scholarships. So distinguished scholarships, Sims who have been accepted into distinguished degree programs will automatically receive scholarships with an amount based on how many distinguished degrees they've gotten into. Working on a Sims grade and skills before applying can lead to a more degree acceptances and in turn more scholarship money. Skill scholarships. Sims who have developed any number of practical skills are eligible to apply for a variety of skill based scholarships. Those hours spent working on cooking, fishing, handiness and many other skills can turn into scholarship funds. However, these scholarships are targeted at younger students and are not so available to adult or elder sims. So we could get a skill scholarship and we could get this one. So sport and esports scholarships, are, hmm, we don't have the fitness. So there are a few scholarships that require Sims to participate in after school activities as part of their requirement. An athletic scholarship requires Sims to be a soccer team player, while esports scholarships require Sim to be an esports competitor. A Sim cannot be accepted by both of these scholarships at the same time. So I doubt we'll go for that one. Need based scholarship. Every Sim deserves a university education and the need based education for all and helping hand scholarships are designed to give sims from households with less a with a oh, with less a chance of attending sims with less savings than assets are encouraged to apply career scholarships universities want to encourage younger sims that may already be dipping their toes in the job market these scholarships offer teen and young adult sims who have achieved some amount of career success with a way to help pay for for a university education that can boost them in their career of choice in the future. So we could get that as we are already part of a career. And the resident grant. For teens and young adults, the place they live may offer grants providing students financial help in pursuing a university education. Each location has its own grant amount and students are encouraged to apply and represent their community. So I think out of all of those, the only one that I doubt we could apply to is this one. So we can apply for as many as we can and we'll just see what we get. So I think, yeah, so she's now just emailing her former guidance counselor. Let's see what they say. I don't know if they're gonna come straight back to us or not. So we will see. Oh, there we go. 
though sadly it's the best chance of earning these scholarships education for all Sims with a really low household funds will be eligible to apply for this scholarship scholarship value 500 the workplace scholar Sims who have already shown success in a career can apply for the career for scholarship not available for adult or elder Sims scholarship value 300 and the Windenburg resident students of Windenburg may be eligible for this grant not eligible for adults or elders scholarship value 300 so let's go ahead and apply for those scholarships apply for scholarships So we're going to have to do this three times. Scholarships, apply for scholarships. There we go. So that's all the scholarships apply to. Let's apply to university now. <laughs> so we are running low on funds still. And it is only 10 a.m. So we have got five hours. So I think let's go to the gym. Because our sim does like getting fit due to our active trait. So let's go and hit some, I don't know the word, treadmills? I, I don't like getting fit. I, I prefer sitting in front of my computer. So let's go, oh, wrong thing. Let's go and find a gym. Again, wrong thing. So, oh, there's a gym here, so we might as well go to this gym while we're in this world. Right, so. Ah. I think, let's just hit the treadmills that are down here. Especially she's got work soon, so it will be nice and quick for her to get back out again and go to work. There we go, she's filling up her fun bar nice and quick there. Looking quite fine in her outfit. Oh, she's done. Let's push the limits on the, this machine here. I, I don't know what kind of machine this is. It, it's some kind of weight machine, I know. But it does both the pull downs, the legs and the... And the... I don't know what muscle that, that bit does, but it does that muscle too. Because I've never seen an all-in-one machine like this in the real world. I've seen them all separate. So let's fast forward this. Oh, oh we're being mentored here. Oh, we've just made a friend. Right, as she has worked in an hour, let's go and have a shower, I think. Right, I've got to figure out which side is ladies now. Uh, that side is ladies. Is there only two showers? So, let's go and take a speedy shower. I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> They're men's. So let's take a shower. Oh, she's meant to be at work. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> she's walking around naked. <gasps> oh, there we go. The shoes off to work now. Oh, so catering conundrum. Bored at work, Sandy is killing time by borrowing the internet when the business phone starts ringing. 
The caller breathlessly explains that there is a celebrity gala taking place this evening, but the master chef booked to cater the event has fallen ill. They might need an, an immediate replacement. Sandy's employer is the right company to handle this job, but she suddenly finds herself daydreaming of rubbing elbows with A-listers. Will Sandy skip out of work early and cater the event all by herself, or will she book the event through her employer? So she will gain fame, money and befriend a celebrity, but she will lose her job if she does this. Or she books the event through her employer and her life will continue unchanged. Right, okay. So she doesn't... She's a foodie, but she doesn't necessarily need to do this. And there are other jobs out there. So I, I think we should take the fame route and see where that leads us. So we lost our job, but we have gained a celebrity friend. And we are now a noticeable income. Oh, newcomer. So this is a good place to finish, I think. Uh, so we've gone to work for the first time. We've worked out. We've become a notable newcomer. And we lost our job great first day thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you'd like to like and subscribe uh, that would be greatly appreciated and enjoy the rest of your day bye